Hello everyone, it's Robin here. How are you doing this fine April day? Well, I'm doing fabulous and I'm super excited for this video that I have to share with you today. Now, a few weeks ago, Rod and I were opening mystery pins for our Zoomsday pin board. And Melissa was watching and caught on to something that I said and asked a question down below in the comments. Hey, do you have any tips for putting together a mystery pin advent calendar? Yes, Melissa, I do. And you know what? If it has to do with pins and Christmas, well, I'm definitely up for that challenge. But before we get into that, I think we need to get in the mood just a little bit. Let's put on my holiday ears. And these are my fabulous Minnie Mouse ears that Princess Minnie made for me for Christmas. Oh my gosh, aren't they amazing? Thank you so much, Kate. I'm excited to wear my ears again. <laughs> and you know what? I think we need a little bit of music. Oh, so much better. You know, April is just a few months away from Christmas, but it's just far enough away to get in that warm, fuzzy feel again, right? Oh, so much fun. Okay, so for this mystery pin advent calendar, I'm gonna do it in three parts. And the first part is the types of advent calendars you can use. The second part is what types of mystery pins can you use? And the third part will deal with what do you do with them after you open them? And you know, we might have a bonus little fourth part. We'll just see at the end, okay? So are you ready? I am, let's get to it. So I've used advent calendars for years. I absolutely love using them to count down to Christmas. It was especially fun when the kids were small, but even as they grew older, that tradition kind of stayed within the family. And you know, I've changed the advent calendar up through the years. Now we've had advent calendars where we've put little pieces of chocolate in there, little tiny toys in there. One of my favorite advent calendars we had was a, one that had little tiny ornaments that when you pulled them out, you put them on a tree. That was a lot of fun too. So when I first caught wind of this mystery pin advent calendar that Disney Kitty did in her Vlogmas videos back in 2017, I was like, heck yeah, I need to do that. So when I started my channel last August, I immediately started planning for my channel and planning for Vlogmas and planning for the pin advent calendar because I was definitely doing it. And I'm telling you, it was a ton of fun. So the first thing you're gonna need is an advent calendar. And you know, you can use any type of advent calendar really that will hold a pin. What's nice is that pins are relatively small. So any advent calendar made out there is a good size for it. Now you can use one that's made like so. This is my advent calendar that I have now and it has drawers in it. So you can, they actually fall out. So you have to kind of be careful when you lean forward, but it has drawers and it'll hold a pin in there or a little chocolate or whatever you want. Now this advent calendar has 24 days and that's another thing you're gonna look at is, do you wanna do a 24 day or a 25 day? Sometimes it just depends on your advent calendar. Mine's 24 days, I count down to Christmas. Christmas Eve I pull my last one because Christmas day is, is a gift amongst itself. So that's kinda how I roll. Um, if it had a 25th day, oftentimes they're a much larger box or they're more prominent you can put something extra special in there so that's fun too but I have a 24 day one but that number of the days you have in your advent calendar is important to remember when you're collecting your pins but right now we're looking at just the advent calendar so you can use one of these types or you can also use they make a lot of different ones you can use a hanging one um, any type of advent calendar really will work I also last Christmas made an advent calendar. This is a box that I purchased from a craft store from Michaels. And it's just a fun Christmas box, but inside, well, they're all packaged up waiting for next year. Let me take one out. <laughs> so inside, I created another advent calendar that I pulled. And uh, what it was is I used these little, I don't know, I think they're little money holders. I purchased these little boxes and I think they're money holders. They open up on the side and it's definitely large enough to fit a pin in there, but they're super, super cute. 
and they were relatively inexpensive too. Now what I put in here last Christmas is I also purchased some um, tags and inside each tag I wrote down a Christmas movie and I had these inside of here and every day I pulled one and that was a Christmas movie that we could have to watch. So that's what I did, but you could easily use these as a pin calendar too. That would be a lot of fun. So your advent calendar doesn't necessarily have to be expensive. It could be a do it yourself um, or you, if you have one already, you know, like I have this, you can use one like that. So whatever you choose to use, you know, just think about how many days it's going to have because that will help in this next set. So the next part is, I have my advent calendar. What kind of pins do I get? How do I know where to start? Well, as I mentioned earlier this month, Rod and I were opening mystery pins and usually in the bag sets of mystery pins, the pins come out loose. Well, the first one, two, and three series of Tsum Tsums are also blind bagged inside. What? Which is nice because there's five pins in here, which is very cost effective, I'll tell you that. So um, again, Tsum Tsum Series 1, Tsum Tsum Series 2, and Tsum Tsum Series 3. Let me open this bag and I will show you. So we just opened this bag last week, but I had an extra one cut off the top. So Tsum Tsum Series 3, which is fun. You know, it has a lot of classic movies on it, but you can see their blind bag. So what I would do, so I have a bowl here, and I would just place the pin in my bowl. So one, two, three, four, five. So there you have it. So, so far I have five pins ready to go in the advent calendar. So the next type of pin that would work in the advent calendar is a box set. So all the box sets that you buy here, they have two pins each, but they also are blind bagged. I have two boxes here. I have an Alice in Wonderland set and I have an origami set. So let's snip these open and put those in our bowl too. So as you open it, you can see there's two pins. So one, two, and we're gonna open the origami set too to have a little bit of a variety going on in our advent calendar, right? One, two. So now I have nine pins in here. A little short from 24, but I think you get the idea. Now, if you want to add pins from some of the other parks around the world, that can be fun too, but you have to be a little cautious because not all mystery packs are blind bag. I'm going to share with you a few here that I know that are. First, the popcorn and pretzel pack from Hong Kong Disneyland is blind bag. So these are a lot of fun to add in. There's also five pins in this box, so that helps out a lot when you're trying to fill an advent calendar. Next, another fun one are the new 2019 Pen Trading Carnival pins. These pins are fun. They look like hot air balloons. There's three pins in each pack, so that's something to remember when you're getting these, but they're in a box and they are blind bagged. Um, we've also opened from Shanghai, the Disney Emoji Pens. Now it's a box like you see here in the States. They are blind bagged. There's not two, but there are three pins in this box. So keep an eye on how many pins they're offering too, so that you can get your count straight when you're putting your calendar together. Now why I said be cautious, because sometimes we look at these fun lollipop pins. They're in a tin. They are not blind bagged. They're in individual bags, but they're clear and see-through. Now think of it like this. So if you went into a store and saw this tin, it's also shrink wrapped. You can't really get into it to kind of see the mystery. But if you were in a store and saw a box, and you know, we've all seen this before with different mystery boxes, people can easily jimmy it and look in. So the thing to think about here is if it's in a box, it's most likely blind bagged. So what kind of pins do you want to put in your advent calendar? Well, here's a couple of ideas. When I created my advent calendar for Vlogmas, my main goal was I wanted to make sure I didn't get any doubles. So I put a different type of pin in each and it was a mixture of the Tsum Tsum packs and of boxes. Well, 
that did backfire a little bit on me because I also had three pins that I purchased at Walt Disney World during uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and they were little blind bag pins that you buy up at the register and I bought three of them and they were cute little animals with the collars. Well, I got three Figaro's, but you know that's okay because Figaro is awesome. I have one for me, one for Nina, and one for all of you other Figaro fans, right? <laughs> so. That was my idea. I just didn't want any doubles on my board, so I wanted to make sure I had a different set. Another idea would be if you want to complete a collection. Maybe you do want to work on that. So even if you wanted to complete like the Alice in Wonderland collection, buy a bunch of Alice in Wonderland boxes and put in your advent calendar and see if you can complete it. That would be a fun game too. But either way, make your numbers, count your numbers out and what you're gonna get. If you're buying pins here in the US, you're gonna get five in these and two in these. So add them up. And you know they can add up quite quickly because I have a 24, pin box so if i even put say two bags of these that's 10. i need 14 more pins i need seven boxes that can add up quickly but you know what fortunately we're talking about this in april we can plan ahead so let me go ahead and show you how i'm putting these in my calendar i have nine pins in here now um, you get the idea i'm just kind of mixing them up a bit and i'm going to pull my calendar over here and show you, I just kind of put them all in the drawers and then shut the drawer. And then I reach in and grab another one and shut the drawer and continue till I get all the pins in here. Whoops, let me hide that one. <laughs> Don't wanna know, right? So what's nice about these blind bags, they're, they're all black bags. Um, and so you really don't know unless you start feeling them you might be able to tell because some pins are larger or shape different so obviously if you did an all Tsum Tsum advent calendar that could be fun too right oh my gosh that would be fun so that's three bags there's 15 in each you just buy five bags of Tsum Tsums you have 25 pins right there so two of the bags at least you could buy all five at the same or you can have two separate I don't know it would be fun so I have nine pins in my advent calendar right now my bowl is empty and I'm set to count down to Christmas but before we do that I want to move on and share with you what something that you can do with your pins once you open them so the third thing I want to talk about is once you open your pins for your advent calendar, what do you do with them? You know, you could just put them on your regular pin board if you want, but what I did last Christmas I thought was really fun because I made a display of all my advent pins. That way I could easily look over and count Christmas down just by watching the pins. And I used a canvas to put them on because it was going to be a permanent piece for me. Canvas boards are really fun to use because you can put the pin back on them. Know though too that once you put the pin back on and the hole through, it does make a hole so it just stays that way. What's nice about canvas is you can paint it, you can decorate it if you want. Um, I kept mine plain to share with this. I had 24 pins and I started stacking from below so I can count the days down just by going that way. I know which day these pins were pulled. I put them, you know, Tsum Tsums are stackable, right? So I had the idea of stacking them and I counted out my 24 and shaped them into a tree, starting with three and my first row six, five, four, three, two, and who was, oh, Dale. Dale topped my tree off on Christmas Eve, so isn't he cute? So I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed opening all these pins. Like you see, I didn't get any doubles except, look, there's my Figaro's. There's another one, there's another one. <laughs> Three Figaro's, so that was okay. You can see how fun too is if you uh, start doing uh, like different collections, you start seeing different pins, but I can see if you did want it to collect a same collection, it could look fun as well. Now I also have just a plain pin board here. It's a square 12 by 12, which would be perfect for 24 to 25 pins being opened up in an advent calendar. You can create any design you want. You can put them any way you want. Um, it's just really nice to have a display of the pins that you open. So as you're counting down to Christmas, you can also see the pins as they're being put on the board. Oh, another way is, you know, I have my Disney Wisdom banner back there. 
that's another way you can create a banner to put your pins on. That would be fun too. Just get creative in any way it could be fun. So I said I might do a bonus fourth part, which I think I will because you know, we just put nine mystery pins into this advent calendar. And I don't think I can wait until Christmas to figure out what all nine of those pins are. So we're gonna open them real quick today and put them on this pin board for you. Ready? Day number one. Oh, this is really fun. So we put in, so you won't know, once you put all of them in, you kind of have an idea of the pins that you put in, at least the collections, but you don't have any idea, you know, what you're gonna be pulling. So I have no idea right now. So let's see, our first pin is, ooh, it's Ka from Jungle Book. Oh, he's cute. So I'm just gonna put him down here. I'm gonna show you all the pins at the end. So on our second pin, we have, ooh, that one's harder. I'm gonna have to get my scissors. Another tip, have a pair of scissors around you when you do this. <laughs> Some of the bags are heavier than others. Oh, it's Dale in origami form. He's super cute. Ooh, I'm gonna set him down on my board. Go to day three. This counting down to Christmas is going fast, right? <laughs> So we have here another Tsum Tsum, and he's adorable. It's Baloo. Oh, I love Baloo so much. Day four, and we have another tight one. Tough to get into. <laughs> oh, it's a Daisy Duck in origami form. She's adorable. Day five. See what we have here. Oh my gosh, this is fun. We should put advent calendars together all summer long. <laughs> oh, it's the Tweedles. This is from the Alice in Wonderland set. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. It's almost like two pins for one, right? <laughs> Day six. Let's see what we have here. Oh, Captain Hook. Oh, I love Captain Hook. One of my favorite, favorite villains for sure. So that's pretty fun. Day seven. We have Peter Pan. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. Right next to Captain Hook. Yes, amazing. Day eight, we're almost down to the end of our nine, right? And we have here, the white rabbit. I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. <laughs> and our last pin that we put in our advent calendar today. Oh, so close to Christmas, but not so close enough, right? Is, well, there we have Tinkerbell. She's perfect. So let me put these on this board and give you a close up of what we have. Don't they look cute? I've got them all kind of stacked in rows, our nine pins. Now, of course, if I had 24, they would probably be a lot more, but uh, with nine pins, I stacked them up this way. Let me give you a close look at the pins that we pulled. So the first pin that we pulled came from the Tsum Tsum Series 3 Mystery Bag Set, and here's Ka from Jungle Book. He's so cute. The next pin we pulled is Dale, and he's from the Origami Mystery Box Set. Next came Awesome Baloo from the Tsum Tsum Series 3 Mystery Bag Set. And then we got Daisy from the Origami Box Set. Next we pulled Tweedledee and Tweedledum from the Alice in Wonderland Box Set, one of my favorite sets to open. <laughs> and then we pulled Captain Hook. I love Captain Hook. And he comes from the Tsum Tsum Series 3 Mystery Bag Set. Peter Pan came from the same set, and he's pretty awesome too right next to Captain Hook. And then next we pulled the White Rabbit, one of my favorites. Isn't he just adorable? Oh my gosh, he came from the Alice in Wonderland box set. And then of course we pulled Tinkerbell, who came from the Tsum Tsum Series 3 mystery bag set. A lot of Jungle Book and Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, and then some classic characters. Lovely. 
this was a lot of fun. But you know, putting together an advent calendar with mystery pins can be a little costly, especially when you're talking about needing 24 to 25 pins. Well, what I like to do is plan ahead. And fortunately, we're in April right now, so we have quite a few months to go before Christmas. So really, I look ahead to getting my pins together before November, and I'm starting to stash away pins now and not looking at them. I know it's not easy to do, but you put them away specifically for the advent calendar, so you're just buying a little by little each month. The second thing too is I made a video not too long ago about where to find deals on Disney pins, and I do address uh, where to get some of these bag sets and some of the box sets and even some pins from the Asian parks um, you know, at a great price. So I'm gonna link that video down below for you so you can go watch it if you've missed it. And uh, that way you can get some great deals on Disney pins too. I am already looking forward to uh, Vlogmas 2019 and doing another mystery pin advent calendar. I had so much fun with it last year. I'm definitely doing it again this year. I hope you do one too. It's a lot of fun. It's a great fun for the whole family, but it's also great fun if you just do it on your own because I'm telling you, getting all these fun pins and putting them on boards, it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much, Melissa, for asking the question. I am super happy to have done this video for everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about uh, creating a mystery pin advent calendar or anything of that nature, please ask down below in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. And also, if you're thinking of doing one, which direction are you gonna go? Are you gonna get all different pins? and pin boxes, I mean, there's so many to choose from, right? Or are you going to try to complete a collection through your advent calendar? I'd be interested in knowing that for sure. So ah, I'm all in the holiday spirit. I almost feel like I need to go Christmas shopping. <laughs> But I will kind of hold off. Well, I don't know. Maybe I will, right? <laughs> it never hurts to start early. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're having a magical day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.